Hello, my name is Donna, Donna Ockenden, and as you may know, I am the Chair of the Independent Review into Maternity Services at the Nottingham University Hospitals NHS Trust. Today, three months since the start of Nottingham's Independent Maternity Review, I wanted to update you on the progress that my team and I have made during this time. In our first three months, we have concentrated on putting in place the building blocks to ensure we have a strong and family-focused review that will ensure we're able to meet our objectives and do what is expected of us. You will all understand that my team will be reviewing a great deal of highly confidential information and therefore we have had to ensure we have all the correct information sharing agreements in place to ensure we keep safe and handle appropriately such very important and personal information. I am pleased to confirm that we've had over 700 families contact us since our review started at the beginning of September. This is in addition to more than 250 current and former members of NUH staff Thank you to all those that have contacted us so far. Whether you are a local family or an NUH staff member, we do appreciate it to send that first email or make that first phone call is a big step. We are grateful to all who have done this. As well as having been contacted by so many people, we've started making a lot of contacts across Nottinghamshire ourselves. I'm pleased to say that we've engaged with, met with and spoken to a number of local support and faith groups across Nottinghamshire. I want to extend my thanks to Zainab Asgar and the team at the Nottingham Muslim Women's Network, Dr and Mrs Malik and the Women's Group from Beit hafiz Mosque, Carly and colleagues from the Zephyrs team, Manisha and Anna from the Support Me CIC team and everyone at Forever Stars. If there are community groups that you think we should be in touch with, please do let us know. We're learning a lot about Nottinghamshire as a county, but as local residents and families, you will know much more. Please do contact the review team on knotsreview at donnaockenden.com. A highlight of this month in particular has been my visit to the Houses of Parliament, where I met with all local Nottinghamshire MPs and their teams. Everyone I met in Parliament was so helpful. Thank you all. Your combined years of local knowledge has and will continue to be so helpful as we progress with the independent review. Since September, my team have also made contact with a large number of radio, newspaper and TV stations, national, regional and local. We are so very keen to get the message about this independent maternity review out across the whole of Nottinghamshire. If you are a local journalist or a listener of a particular radio station and we've not yet made contact with the paper or radio that you represent or listen to or read, please do contact us on communications at donnaockenden.com. We would love to hear from you and to be able to communicate with as many people as possible through as many different mediums as possible. Our aim is to ensure that no voice is left behind and everyone feels heard. All those involved in the previous CCG-led review, which closed in June of this year, should now have received a letter from the CCG-led review team. To be absolutely clear, the CCG-led review, also known as the thematic review, is completely different from our independent maternity review. If you were a part of that review, it is essential that you give your consent for your information to be shared with this, our review. For that reason, it is really important for you to read and respond to the letter that you should have received from them. If you have any queries, please do email us or give us a call. Our office is staffed from 8 until 4, Mondays to Fridays, and one of our team will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Finally, a reminder about our Terms of Reference, published in September, which can be found on our website. Under our Terms of Reference, we will consider cases from the last 10 years in the following five main categories. Stillbirths, 
neonatal deaths from 24 weeks gestation that occur up to 28 days of life, including neonatal serious incident reports and neonatal never events. Babies diagnosed with HIE grade 2 and 3 and other significant hypoxic brain injury. Maternal deaths up to 42 days postnatal. Severe maternal harm. Nottingham University Hospital's NHS Trust are currently gathering all the information that they can regarding potential cases for the review from all incidents that fall into these five main categories. If you believe that you or anyone you know may fall into these categories and you have not yet contacted the review, please do contact us and we will do our best to help you. If your case falls into one of these categories, by early December, you will receive a letter from me, but sent from the Trust, asking you to give your consent to join our review. We appreciate that receiving such a letter may be difficult, but we are here to support you as much as we can. Again, it is important for you to reply to the letter to give your consent as we cannot request your medical records from the Trust or review your case without your consent. With the festive season fast approaching, my team and I will continue working until the 23rd of December and will then close our offices for the Christmas break. Nearer to Christmas, we'll confirm our opening hours in between Christmas and the new year. Please be assured that urgent emails sent to knotsreview at donnaockenden.com and staff voices at donnaockenden.com will be read while the office is closed. On Twitter, at OckReview will be monitored. Many families have told us that Christmas and indeed any holiday period can be a very difficult time for families when there has been a loss or a tragedy within the family. There is help and support available for affected families. You are not alone. Please do reach out for that support if you need it. Thank you very much for listening and wishing you all a happy and peaceful Christmas holiday. We will be back with our next update in early January 2023.